Nuremberg and Matei, 1961. So, what they did is they extracted cytoplasm from E. coli into 20 different systems, one for each amino acid. Each of them had pre-existing protein. That's fine. We'll ignore them for the time being. Now, they had to know what order of the mRNA, what base pairs were in the mRNA they were using, and the easiest way to do that is just make it all one type, all uracil. They made polyuracil, and they put it in each of the systems. Then they took each amino acid, they made them with C14, radioactive, and they gave each amino acid its own system. Now, only in the phenylalanine system did they find hot protein at the bottom. So that implies that the phenylalanine worked together with the polyU to create protein. None of the others did. None of the other amino acids worked with the polyU to make protein. That's thus implying that specific orders of base pairs are required to make different proteins from amino acids. 1964, Nuremberg and later this time. The ingenious idea was that ribosomes can't go through flash paper or nitrocellulose, whereas codons and amino acids go right through it. We, they now knew that codons were only three base pairs long, so they created each of the 64 codons. They created each of them, and what they did is they threw a codon in with a ribosome, and they threw a hot amino acid in with C14, and they, if they would complex, they would stay on top of the flash paper because the ribosome would stay on top of the flash paper. If they didn't complex, the codon and the amino acid would fall right through and just the ribosome remain on top. And nothing radioactive up here. Flash paper would be cold. So they tried this. Each codon was tried with every amino acid. And if they didn't complex, it'd fall through. Flash paper would be cold. Tried them everything. Let's try it with this one. Whoop, look. This codon was in the ribosome, and it managed to complex with a tRNA that was attached to this hot amino acid, and it stayed on top of flash paper. Flash paper was radioactive, so they knew, since this had complexed with this and stayed on top, that this amino acid was coded for by this specific codon. And they tried it with a whole bunch of other ones. Let's try this codon. Does it work with this? No, it falls right through. Flash paper's cold. Does it work with this? Sure does. Stays on top. Flash paper's hot. This codes for this.